1 2 3D basics groups, solids, and voids. You may have already noticed that grouping objects in 1 2 3D is easy. Place a cube in the workspace and then cruise a cylinder to the top plane. Click on the shapes. Notice that they have snapped together and automatically became a group. Click a second time on the cylinder to drill down to the feature object. This individually selects that part of the shape. Notice a few things on the toolbar on the bottom. The Attributes Manager pops up and we can manipulate this feature by moving it, scaling it, changing its dimensions, etc. You can also manually group parts, parts that might not be physically connected, but you'd like to move the same interval, for example. Select the objects, right-click for a drop-down menu, and select Group. You can ungroup in a similar way. Back to our cube and cylinder. Move the cylinder down in the Z direction into the cube by selecting and dragging the blue triangle. With the cylinder still selected, switch it from a solid to a void. Now you have a shape with a hole. You can continue to change the size and position of these features, return your solid to a void, and more throughout your modeling process. If you know you've finished assembling your shape, you can flatten it, and you will no longer be able to edit the individual features. Right-click for the drop-down menu and select Flatten.